as if I wasn't already surprised to be back at Carowinds so soon. I am at Dollywood again after an even shorter period of time. It hasn't even been two weeks since I was here, I don't think. I'm really excited to get back to this park and I only have one day last time and I got a couple hours today and then all day tomorrow. So I got plenty of time to get some more rides in on stuff. If I can get a lightning ride at least one time this trip, I will be three for three in terms of trips to Dollywood with being able to ride a lightning ride. Cause I got on in 2016 and I got on a couple weeks ago. So hope I can keep my 100% success rate alive with this ride. And I cannot wait to get back on Big Bear Mountain and do a couple more laps than that. I only got one ride on it a couple of weeks ago. And I really want to give it another try. So I'm definitely going to do that. Also, I cannot wait to get back on Mystery Mountain again. I know that thing's just such a weird ride, but I actually am really starting to like this thing. Such a dorky ride, especially in the sequence from the bottom of the second lift up until the final break. Like that whole sequence is one of my favorites of any coaster. So I can't wait to re-experience it for myself and all the other rides that Dollywood has to offer. So let's go in and have a good time. Obviously, we're heading to Lightning Ride first. And I forgot just how huge this ride is. Holy cow. Yeah, literally, like my brother just said, we were here nine or two weeks ago, so, oh man. Got a cool view of the quad down right there I didn't see last time I was here, but, jeez. Just gotta hope that they're on uh, two trains because the uh, Dollywood app is showing it at a 60 minute wait, so. It's probably gonna break down at some point, but hopefully we'll get lucky because uh, on the way over here from Carowinds, I've been checking the Dollywood app periodically and every time I've checked, Lightning Rod has been open, so I'm gonna double check it right now and see if they're open. And if they're not open for whatever reason, I think I might make my way towards uh, Big Bear Mountain or Mystery Mine. Cause uh, I wanna get both of those done as well. Also Thunderhead, I'd like to get a couple more rides on us once I got two last time. 60 minute wait, yeah, that's more like 180. One train ops, horrible capacity. Like dispatches are unbelievable. They're so slow. So yeah, we got out of line. We're gonna go ride Mystery Mine cause that's actually showing a 25 minute wait. And Big Bear Mountain is showing a 45 minute wait. So we're gonna go over and try Mr. Mine and then check back at Big Bear Mountain. Thank goodness we got in line for Mr. Mine when we did. The lines are all the slip backs and we're already up at the stairs. We've been waiting for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So we're making good progress. And we're always almost at a location now. That was really quick actually. What is wrong with this ride? Oh my gosh. Mystery mine. Oh man, that was a ton of fun. Oh my gosh. That second lift sequence, everything up until the final breaks. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh man, I definitely want to ride this thing one more time for the other trip. And I might come back at some point tonight. And um, Scott, you said you did a ride forces thing on that. What results did you get? Uh, I got negative one. Look, like, look at this. <laughs> what the heck? Oh man, like, which one do you think was on the uh, last, the second vertical drop after the fire effect? Uh, yeah. It was yeah, that, that like, like the Mosasaurus roll. AKA the crazy inline twist, which is, oh man. Yeah, it's like a mini Mosasaurus roll, which, ah, oh, go to soundtrack. Oh man. And look who's back at it, the Vulture! Best part of the ride. Actually, I don't know if I'd agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I like it. You don't look at my computer here. Okay then, I guess you don't want to talk right now. Anyway, let's go ride Big Bear Mountain now. Did he really? Oh no! That sounds like I don't want to be anywhere near this guy, but yeah, let's go ride Big Bear Mountain now. Whoa, what the play? Okay, 15 minutes, no way! Adventurers under 40 inches must be accompanied by someone 14 years or older. We recommend getting surgery for pains and those who are fine.
little bit ago, and uh, I could not wait in the actual train to get the very front row, so I ended up doing the back of the train. Even though I was glad to at least get the experience in the back, I much prefer the front row of this ride because the launch were better and I felt the sense of speed was greater. So that's for what I'm going to do now. I feel like I might go check landing rod in here in a little bit, but I'm not sure. Because that line is still like 50 minutes long, but they're only running one train. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. I've said that I'm gonna go try and get on lightning ride, but the app says it's delayed right now. So I might not be open when I get there, but I think I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So I'm gonna go down towards lightning rod and hopefully it opens when I'm getting closer to it and maybe the line won't be too long for it. So let's go try it out and see if we can get on it. Cause my mom and Ann rode while I was over at Big Bear Mountain and they said it was running really slow with like no airtime. And I kind of find that too hard to believe because uh, I don't know. It is an RMC, and RMCs really usually don't give airtime unless there's something really heading to the ride. But, oh well. I'm gonna go down there and see if that's the case, but maybe they're probably saying that because of Air Force One, which that could be the case because the airtime strength on Air Force One at Fun Fire Land a couple days ago would just not see that. That's going there. And the real thing could also be said for a twisted cyclone at Six Flags over Georgia, which I also wrote a couple days ago. So, I don't know what the deal is there, but I'm gonna try landing on and see if they're correct or if they're actually telling the truth about this. <laughs> to the floor below the station and above the entrance part of the queue, I guess you could say. And I've been in line for, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes maybe, so, I don't know. Hopefully we'll be on fairly soon. <laughs> Last time I rode this, it rolled back. Let's hope that does not happen again. Three for three on lightning rod. Pretty good. My mom and aunt said lightning rod was not as good as they remembered. However, I would like to disagree with that. I think they went in with Air Force One or maybe even Twisted Cyclone on their mind. And I think that might have hurt it for him. For me, lightning rod felt just as intense as I remembered it being the last week I was here. And uh, I was really impressed now. So what I'm gonna do now is go over and I think try Thunderhead. And so that one, too, my brother said it is not running great. And if that one's running uh, decently well, I might do a couple of other ones. I might try Mystery Mind again. I, I know Mystery Mind, but so what? It. It's a lot of fun. Although I could try like Fire Chaser again, honestly. I'll probably do that one tomorrow, Fire Chaser Express. <laughs> Let's go head up towards Thunder Canyon and take a ride on Thunderhead. And maybe also hit Mr. Mine on the way as well. I can work with this flying from Mr. Mine any day of the week. Let's see if we can get two rides on it, maybe. I'm excited though about that, but they're only doing that at least once while this line is really short like this, because you definitely really don't see this every day. Yeah, why is Mr. Mine so good? No reason to be as good as it is. In fact, the line is pretty much like almost a stationary at this point, if not already. So I might as well take a second time on it for, well, third time for today, so. Let's uh, do another lap on it. Yeah, 10 minutes, that seems about right. You don't see this one like this very often. This one back in the right here. So yeah, let's do all the switch back to the lower part of the queue. Now it's like the same way, it's like five minutes. So nothing to complain about here. I got a couple more rides in on Mystery Mind the other night and the last ride of the night, me and my brother were the only ones on the train. We got at Zen Ride last ride of the night, so it was awesome. Really solid couple hours here at Dollywood, despite the crowd being kind of large for a lot of the day. But Mystery Ride, it was like a five minute wait the whole time. We just walked straight on and uh, yeah, I didn't really have to wait like at all. So it was overall fun time, just marathon. Possibly the weirdest ride in this park, which I think it is. Because you got what, like Fire Chaser or Lightning Rod? Those are kind of weird in their own respective ways. But Mystery Mind, there's just something so bizarre about it. But anyway, overall, it was a really solid time. And uh, final ride count, I think it was... Uh, I'll need to double check that before I uh, get too confused here. I really only need to check my ride count for what I got on Mystery Mine because I think I got six rides on that. Yeah, six on Mystery Mine and then one on both Big Bear Mountain and Lightning Rod. 
I did not ever ride Thunderhead today, but then again, I was like too busy laughing mystery man with the walk on. So I'll get on this thing tomorrow and I'll try to get on pretty much every other coaster here in the park if I can. Like definitely want to get on Big Bear again, Front Row, Wild Eagle, I want to do a couple times, uh, Tennessee Channel, like there's like, I would like to try and get on pretty much everything if I can tomorrow. So let's uh, jump to the next day, I guess. Full day at Dollywood is underway and I was going to start at Lightning Rod, but they're down right now. They don't know how long it'll be until they open. So I'm not wasting time. I'm going to go start off at Big Bear Mountain and try to get Front Row on that because I wasn't able to get front row yesterday and I want to try to front again, so let's head that direction. Also get on Thunderhead while I'm in the area. Line short, and I know I rode a bunch yesterday, but I'm doing mystery mine first. Maybe I can get a true zen right today. That was a fun way to start the day. That was my ninth ride on mystery mine for the year. And I've only done lightning ride four times. It's crazy I've ridden this a lot more. But to be fair, this thing was a walk on day last night. Here it comes. Version. Every time I ride it, it just keeps getting better and better. And I was on the outside seat on this last ride, and it wasn't bad. So I was running for the line. It goes wild eagle, which has to go right there. And uh, wild eagle, which there. So uh, yeah, Mr. Mine was a good one for the day, and I would like to get one more round this today to bring them to an even 10 for the year on this. As I was walking past Mystery Mine and head this direction, there was a sound there that said Big Bear Mountain had a 70 minute wait already. So I'm gonna hold off on that one till later. But what I am gonna ride now is Fire Chaser Express because that line I know will build up. And the wait time sign said zero minutes. So if that's true, I would like to get on this one fairly quick because I know this one will get a long line and it doesn't move very fast. So we're gonna hop on this one real fast and see how it runs because last time I rode it was hilarious. Like backwards airtime, backwards laterals, and it was just a mess. So I cannot wait to try it again. So let's go do it. Express is pretty good, and now I'm gonna go take a ride on Wild Eagle. Actually, I'll do two laps on it because the Dollywood app is showing it at a five minute wait. So, I'd like to try the back seat on both wings, so I'm gonna do that since I did front row both the last time I was here. Welcome back to Eagles. How was your flight? Sounds amazing. 
good. Just rode Wild Eagle in the back of the train for my first time. I was on the right wing, and my friend Ryan said that the first drop has some good air time, and it was pretty solid air, but I think I was expecting a little bit more out of it. And other than that, the rest of the ride I thought was kind of forceless, honestly. The front I felt was way more intense, so therefore I do prefer the front. Oh, by a significant margin, actually. Now, I will try back left, just so I can say I've done it, but if I had to ride Wild Eagle more often in the front or more often in the back, I would say more often in the front for me personally, because I felt it was more intense up there. Like, I didn't really grade out in the back. I think I grade out a little bit at the pullout after the vertical loop going into 0 and I grade out like two or three times in the front, so... I thought front was overall better, except for the drop. And I could drive back left right now, but I heard the lightning rod might be running since it wasn't open immediately. That's why I did Mr. Mind Fire Chase right now, Wild Eagle, beforehand back there. And plus, Big Bear Mountain's line was huge, so I'm gonna go check lightning rod, see if it's open, and uh, get another ride on it, because I need to ride it again. So I only rode it once yesterday, because the line was so, about, so long. I just passed the entrance to Blazing Fury, which is way back there. And I could ride it again this trip, but not sure if I will. I mean, if I wanted to, I could do the back row on it to see how it compares to fire in the hole in the back row. And I might do that later, but if I don't do it today, then it's not the biggest deal. But it might be nice to be on it. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I'm going to keep working my way towards Lightning Ride and getting another ride on that. So it doesn't break on me, because I am wearing a Lightning Ride shirt right now. So hopefully it doesn't break on me, because I have a shirt on. But I don't know. I wore a top little dragster shirt yesterday. Gotten in the queue line for lightning rod, the line did not move, so it knew I was coming, and so it didn't move very fast. So, whatever, I guess. I know. I take a ride or two on Rock and Roadway after I ride Lightning Rod, see if I can get some shots of this coach running from here. Because the layout for this thing runs pretty close to Lightning Rod, so I wonder how cool the shots will be if I can get some running from there. back left wing on wild eagle and that was way weaker than my back right wing right i got earlier this morning i don't know what it was but it was so much weaker than it was earlier i think it might have had to do with the fact that i was stapled so the air time on the drop wasn't that good it was pretty much non-existent i mean it was a little bit but it was barely anything like way less noticeable than my ride earlier this morning and uh i felt it was just as uh intense as my other back ride which wasn't intense i thought front was more intense so overall i deemed this as a front ride
gonna go back towards Lightning Rod now and actually try and get front row this time. And apparently it's, the app is showing only a 30 minute wait. So if that's the case, that'd be awesome to get on it fairly quickly because uh, it was like, I don't know, like an hour I waited for and I got up middle row and I didn't feel like it was worth riding after waiting that long. So I'm gonna try Lightning Rod again and see if I can get any better luck. And if I can get the front, I might as well at least try the back. So I can say I've done the back, but I would rather get the front row because it's almost launch coaster. So let's head down towards Lightning Rod and see if we can get it. Roll back on Lightning Ride! Yo, from the top of the line! Gonna ride Thunderhead now, and I actually did end up getting on right Lightning Ride a little bit ago. And it was in the back row, which I would like to have gotten an experience back there, which I did. But it was a complete 180 from all my other front row rides. All my front row rides were smooth, the launch was good, and I was not badly stable, so I got some good air time. Pretty much everything I just said about that is completely opposite from this ride. I uh, was badly stapled at the top of the launch slip I got stapled in the valley app for the first drop. The drop was good in the back, but the launch is definitely not as good in the back. It was a good period. And I didn't get much air time at all. And on top of that, there was a pothole after the wave from that was really bad. Like, oh man, it gave me a headache for the rest of the ride. I actually still have a headache from it right now. So yeah, lightning rod was not enjoyable in the back. Much better in the front. Like, it's not even close. My ride on Thunderhead, I'd say, was top two for best rides of today. It was between that or my ride on Mystery Miner earlier this morning, which is just such a riot. But yeah, Thunderhead, I think, was running a little bit better than uh, last time I rode it, but I still do prefer Prowler slightly. I'm gonna go over towards Big Bear Mountain and uh, try getting on that one, see if I can actually get front row this time, because last time I rode it, I could not get the front, and I ended up getting the back. So let's see if we can get front row this time. <laughs>
because I updated, but I did. Big Bear Mountain front row. That was way better than my back row ride uh, yesterday. And I just did Tennessee Tornado in the front row. And Tennessee Tornado, that ride was absolutely insane. I forgot how wild that ride is. I don't think it was anywhere near as intense last time as it was just now. And I'm intrigued to try the back of the train because I heard the drop is really good in the back. So I'm going to do it. So let's try the back out. And I'm kind of nervous. But hopefully it doesn't destroy me too bad. Did back row on Tennessee Tornado a little bit ago, and I honestly was not expecting to like it less in the front. The drop didn't really do anything for me. I even got some mild flutter when I heard some, from some that it was either really strong flutter, even an ejector. I was expecting that, but I didn't get that. And then I thought it was way less intense than it was in the front, which I wasn't expecting. So a little disappointed with the back on Tennessee Tornado, but it was still a good ride. And then we're actually heading, gonna head out early because like, we're all tired. You know, we did like six days in a row at parks and whatnot. And uh, to finish off my trip, I obviously had to do Mystery Man. I think it's my guilty pleasure ride. And the more I think about it, the more I think it might be top three in the park. I haven't fully decided yet, but I don't know. It's really up there for me now. Like at first, it was like about 150s or something. Now it's definitely going to be like a lot higher for me than it is. I think it's like in my 70s or something right now. I'll have to double check that. But Mystery Mind, I'm going to miss this thing so much. Because if I didn't already miss it uh, last time I was here, I'm definitely going to miss it now. Even though the park is not closed, my day here at Dollywood is done. Final ride count was two on Mystery Mine, Tennessee Tornado, and Wild Eagle, and then one on every other coaster with the exception of Blazing Fury, Dragonflyer, and Whistlepunk Chaser. I wanted to ride Dragonflyer, but the line was long all day, so I never made my way to getting on it. And uh, for final ride count uh, for the Voltage, I think it was uh, eight on Mystery Mine, two on Lightning Rod, Big Bear Mountain, Tennessee Tornado, and Wild Eagle, and then one on every other coaster with the exception of those three I just mentioned. So Blazing Fury, Whistlepunk Chaser, and Dragonflyer. Overall, it was really nice to get back to Dollywood for another day and a half or so. And even though I was just here, it was cool to get back on Lightning Rod, get a whole new appreciation for Mystery Mine, and get another good front row on Maple Mountain as well. And also got to see what uh, Wild Eagle in the back was like as well. So it was overall a pretty good visit. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment below what you enjoyed about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to 500 subscribers by the end of summer. So I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. The next vlog will be from the final park of the trip, and I have to save what is my personal favorite park for last, and that of course is Holiday World. So stay tuned for that, and until then, I'll see you later.